According to NASA, the universe is basically made up of three components, visible matter, dark matter and dark energy. Visible matter makes up everything we can directly observe or we can view in visible light with our own eyes or through a telescope that can detect light we can't see, like ultraviolet or infrared. So when you look up at the night sky, the stars, planets and galaxies you see are only a fragment of the universe, just 5%. To make this fact even more intriguing, there has been a growing interest in astronomy in recent years regarding the existence of voids. Huge regions in space that are surprisingly empty, containing very little visible matter. And recently, astronomers discovered something surprising. We might actually be living inside one of these cosmic voids, a massive region known as the KBC void. The idea that we are living in a cosmic void raises some unsettling questions. Could we be permanently isolated in a distant, empty region of the universe? What could possibly explain all of this? You're watching Kyanite. Astronomical discoveries suggest that our galaxy, the Milky Way, sits near the center of a massive cosmic void. They used redshift surveys to map the positions of galaxies in 3D. What they found was astonishing. Our corner of the universe is much emptier than we thought. It's named after the scientists Kinnan, Barger and Cowie, who proposed its existence around 2013. Estimates suggest it spans around 2 billion light years across, making it one of the largest known voids. The KBC void is around 7 times larger than typical cosmic voids, predicted by our current models. And that's where the questions start to appear. This giant empty space throws a wrench into two major pillars of modern cosmology. The cosmological principle, which says matter is evenly spread throughout the universe on large scales, and the Lambda CDM model, or best model for understanding how the universe evolved, including dark matter and dark energy. According to this model, a void the size of KBC shouldn't even exist, it's just too big to form naturally. Besides that, since gravity is the dominant force on such large scales, we need to talk about general relativity. On small and medium scales, like within galaxies or even clusters of galaxies, general relativity, Einstein's theory of gravity, works extremely well. But on cosmic scales, millions or even billions of light years, gravity might behave differently. The problem? We have no good way to measure how gravity behaves on much larger scales. If general relativity doesn't fully apply over scales larger than a million light years, or if it needs to be tweaked, then our entire interpretation of cosmic expansion, dark energy and cosmic structures might be flawed. The existence of something as large as the KBC void intensifies this concern. In general relativity, mass warps spacetime, dictating how objects move within it. However, in a void where mass is largely absent, traditional models of space-time curvature may need adjustment. One possible solution would be to develop a modified theory of gravity, a version of Einstein's equations that changes slightly over extremely large distances. These are known as modified gravity theories, and they suggest that gravity might not work exactly the way we think when we are looking at the universe on cosmic scales. So what if humanity lives in a vast ocean of nothingness, in a void? Are we alone in the universe? Our galaxy, the Milky Way, has anywhere between 100 and 400 billion stars. And if even just one planet orbits each star, that's potentially 400 billion planets in just one galaxy. Now get this, the universe has about 2 trillion galaxies. That's an unimaginable number of stars and planets. Some scientists say there are more stars in the universe than grains of sand on all of Earth's beaches. So if the ingredients for life are so common, why haven't we heard from anyone? This haunting question is known as the Fermi Paradox, a mystery that's been puzzling scientists for decades. Observational data suggests our Milky Way galaxy could be located near the center of this void. This would mean we're in a more empty part of the universe compared to average cosmic environments. If we live in an unusually empty part of the universe, then we might just be isolated. Even if someone out there is sending signals, they could take millions or even billions of years to reach us. Or we might be overlooked. Advanced civilizations may not even know we exist, 
or they simply might not care about a lonely little corner of space. In short, the answer to where is everyone might just be we are too far away to hear them. But instead of just being scary or breaking the rules, this void might actually solve a major puzzle. One of the biggest mysteries of the universe is the rate at which it is expanding. According to a fundamental theory of cosmology named the cosmological principle, matter in the universe should be uniformly distributed on very large scales. But when we measure the expansion rate using nearby galaxies and supernova, it is 10% larger than when it would be predicted. That's a great mystery called Hubble tension, a growing disagreement about how fast the universe is expanding. One method measures the expansion rate using nearby galaxies and gives a value. Another method uses data from the early universe, the cosmic microwave background, and gives a slower rate. So which one is correct? Well, both might be, and the KBC void could explain why. Observations show that galaxies inside the void seem to move away faster than those outside it. This suggests that our measurements of how fast the universe is expanding might be off because we are in this huge empty space. This void, with its lower density, might be causing what are being called outflows of matter, where the gravitational pull from denser surrounding areas could be drawing matter out from the void, speeding up the local expansion rate. This idea of gravitational outflows suggests a radical idea, that gravity might behave differently in the vast stretches of a void compared to more densely packed regions of space. Exploring voids also takes us back to the quantum fluctuations of the early universe, which are believed to be the seeds of all cosmic structure. In regions like our void, these fluctuations may have behaved differently, leading to fewer galaxies and less dense matter. Voids also serve as natural laboratories for studying phenomena like gravitational lensing, where the path of light from distant objects bends due to gravity. How light bends around and through voids can teach us about the distribution of dark matter and dark energy, mysterious forces that account for most of the universe's mass energy content. The KBC void forces us to rethink some of our deepest assumptions about the universe, whether it's the Hubble tension, the formation of galaxies, or why we seem so alone. The existence of the KBC void tells us one thing for sure, we still have a lot to learn. Maybe we really are just in the middle of nowhere, maybe the silence of the universe is simply a matter of distance and luck, or maybe we are the first to look up and ask the question. Besides this video just watched, there are many others on the channel waiting to be seen. To get more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.